Ryan's love of video games began on a South Sudanese refugee camp in Uganda. That love of games, combined with his um, experience as a refugee, led him to the idea of making games for peace. So he's joined today by Leo of Facebook to hear more about that journey. Thanks, guys. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Uh, I hope all is well. We've had a pretty incredible day today. Um, I think that you know we can't thank Dean enough for bringing us together around the inspiration that community brings and the importance that community brings to every single thing that we do. And so we heard Phil talk about like the democratization of game development, and then we just you know we've heard uh, you know Ted and Morgan talking about giving the underdog a voice. Um, I think we live in pretty incredible times, and we have one of the most incredible people I've ever met, a uh, game developer here, Luol, who's going to share his story with you. So um, I'm going to shut up now and just let Luol talk about what he's done, because it's absolutely incredible. So Thank you so much. So I went to the Internet Cafe, and my friend installed for me a video game called uh, Grand Theft Auto, uh, GTA Vice City. So I. I, I, I didn't know how to play it, so I came back home and I opened it, it was on my desktop. And then I started like, figuring out how to play Grand Theft Auto. Like, I never thought like, video games are created by people, I thought they just fall from heaven. Like, I never knew like, what is the best way you can become a developer or make video game and so on. So like, playing, video, uh, playing GTA Vice City like, inspired me so much in a way that uh, what was happening in the game was like, you know, I'm from a country like whereby 73% of the population is under the age of 30. These are all young people. And these are the people who were, you know, they grew up in war, they were born in war. So their mindset and attitude is all about war. And I was thinking like, if they start like playing this game, like what, what was actually in the game was what was happening in my country. And I was like, if I can be able, because I, I realized the power of game. You know, game make us like to think critically and also to respond, I was like, what is the best way like, for me to utilize gaming to create peace and conflict resolution so that people can be able to you know, play a game that can be able to change their mindset? Yeah. So how did you uh, learn how to code? So, <laughs> so how I learned how to code was I started like, uh, downloading tutorials, and then I started like, using tutorials to train myself. And um, it was not easy. Like, using Unity was like the, the worst thing like, I've ever tried to use because I, I was so creative, like I would spend a lot of time like just figuring out like what, you know, what I can do. And sometimes I would make an error that is going to take me about two weeks to fix it. And nobody is going to be there like... Well, yeah. you, you were using an offline... Offline, yeah, like... Somebody was, just handed to you on a USB <laughs> Yeah, drive. USB. And then like start using it like most of the time. Like I don't have to have access to internet to, yeah, to build my first game. So mm. using, using games yeah. to help people understand mm. how to build, you know, solve conflicts between people is something that's really important to you, and I think you're, you're making a board game about that as well. Yeah. Do you want to tell us about that? I think right now, you know, to me, I feel like true peace is something that is built over time, and right now the world is looking for, you know, there are a lot of countries that, that are going through a conflict every day, and I feel like the industry, the game industry would be like a great, a great tool for us to start like making games that can be able to change the mindset of people. And as I mentioned before, like, game can be able to engage people. They can be able to bring people on the table and play. And I'm working on a game, which is like a board game, using a board game that is more of conflict resolution and player own a conflict. And then you can be able to create your own resolution to the conflict, actually. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. I remember mm. the first time I heard this, I was talking to Lawal, and I thought, Hey, you're making games. Like, is it about you know orcs and goblins or space or shooting or like what's this all about? And he said, No, it's about trying to help solve the world's problems. So like, this is a this is a real mission for you. How That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, is there any questions from the audience? I think uh, I've known the wall for a little while now, and and every opportunity that that we have to connect, I learn I learn something new. But um, I would argue that you know he tells the the perfect story of what's powerful in the games industry today. Mm. Um, so is, is there anybody else, anybody who has a, a question for the wall like while, we, while we have him here? Yeah, um, I think that's a question that's going to be hard for me to answer because um, it's, the game industry is built on communities and people who choose to play a game. And 
to me, like my biggest focus is like identifying my the solution, uh, the problem that I'm trying to solve, and that problem has its own community, and all the communities like that are focusing on uh, promoting conflict resolution, uh, peace building in in different world. And what I ask myself today, like when someone talk about conflict, what come into your mind? When someone talk about war, what come into your mind? It's a community of everybody. It, it's not like do you think it's, it's South Sudan that's the only country that's going through conflict? Conflict is started even in your family. And how do you come together as, with your children and play this game? And it's all about like the game design and how people can be able to like react into, yeah, into like playing video game and not just thinking about like um, uh, conflict. It's something from different worlds start within you and how you can learn. And yeah, last question. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. So what did, what did we learn here today? We have a gentleman sitting here. Mm -hmm. I encourage everybody to talk to the wall. Mm -hmm. Saw his first computer in 2007. Had to walk three hours each way in order to get power just so he could use the darn thing. Taught himself how to code. Finds himself here on stage you know, in Los Angeles talking about community and really inspiring all of us. Um, I think the, the list could go on and on. And you know, your games are really about bringing this world closer together. So I just wanted to say, you know, on behalf of the entire games industry, thank you for what you do and really yeah. inspiring us to be better. Thank you for the Global Giving Citizen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>